Hello everybody, thank you for joining me. It was reported recently that a Dutch um, forensic psychology graduate has produced a gender neutral pack of cards. She was teaching her cousins to play a game one day and suddenly began to wonder why it was that the king was worth more points than the queen. And so she has now produced a pack of cards where the king is replaced by a gold bar, the queen by a silver coin, uh, and the jack by a bronze shield. Uh, and uh, in some quarters it's, it's taking off, although it's difficult to play poker and so on with the, with, with the new gender neutral kind of card. But she says that it was important to make the point that there were subtle, what she called subtle inequalities um, in a pack of cards that made the king more important than the queen. And of course, what she was uh, pointing out actually was that there are inequalities in society where it is often assumed that men are more important than women and certainly in, in the workplace and in business especially, but in other areas of life too, there is discrimination against women such that on a day like today, International Women's Day, we want to highlight it and oppose it. Of course, there was opposition uh, to the idea of the gender neutral pack of cards. Piers Morgan, for one, uh, wrote a very brief and unrepeatable uh, tweet uh, expressing his reaction, but there were a number of, 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 and I must say in my browsing it seemed to be almost entirely men, uh, who, who objected to this, uh, and one suspects that their anger uh, and their mocking actually reflects much more on their own um, lack of awareness of their own behaviour um, than on the uh, true impact of of that particular kind of playing card um, but for all of us I think it's it's a helpful um, little reminder of the inequalities that still exist. Uh, Inik Melink, the, the uh, graduate who produced them, uh, talked about subtle inequalities. Well I actually think for a lot of women who are at the receiving end of such discrimination there's nothing subtle about it. It's thoroughly uh, obvious and unpleasant. But there are times, aren't there, when it is, it is fairly subtle, when the kind of things that are said, the kind of things that are done, are the kind of things that, to make a fuss about, <laughs> seems embarrassing and difficult. Uh, but we still need to do it. Um, one um, person, no doubt trying to be funny, um, said that the gender neutral pack of cars was not a big deal. Well, I think sometimes that's the reaction that will be following any attempt to, to interrupt any discriminatory words or actions. Oh, it's not a big deal. Don't make such a fuss about it. And particularly men, but also women, need to do that. We need to stand up, however awkward or embarrassing it might be, uh, uh, in order to stop such discrimination um, uh, and such undermining of women's skills and abilities from continuing. So that's what I'm going to think about today. Uh, not so much interaction with people in, in lockdown, but there is still some. But whether we're meeting with other people or whether we're, we're not, it's a day, International Women's Day, for hoping and praying and preparing ourselves to make sure that we don't do anything which will continue such gender discrimination and which will encourage a greater equality between the sexes.